Mariana Costa Checa of Peru. Mariana is the founder of uh, Laboratoria, which gives young women from low-income backgrounds the education and tools they need to work in the digital sector. Uh, and if that lineup's not enough, you also see it in a guy that you may have heard of, uh, who uh, has done pretty well for himself, the founder and CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg. They're the real experts. Let's welcome them on stage, and we'll start having a conversation with them. Uh, it's an honor to be here. I'm still trying to get over the fact that you just introduced me. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, so I lead Laboratoria. We are a social enterprise, and we, I started it in Peru two years ago. We are now in Peru, in Chile, and Mexico. And what we try to do is to go out and find talent where nobody else is looking for it. So we try to identify young women who haven't been able to access quality education or job opportunities because of economic limitations and train them to become the most awesome web developers they can be and connect them with employment opportunities in the tech sector. Something that I realized is that when, when our students join our program, uh, they are most of them are completely unaware of their potential and, and they come thinking that it's going to be really hard to break this vicious cycle of low-skilled employment, underpaid employment, or just domestic work. Uh, but they soon start learning to code, and it's just such a powerful skill set. They, a few weeks into the program, they start building their first websites, their first apps, their games, and showing them to the world, and it's so empowering. And, and six months after joining, they're ready to go out and join the workforce. So we have students who get three job offers from the coolest companies in town. They go out, they get to decide where they want to go and work. They triple their income, so they significantly improve their economic circumstances. They start supporting their families. And I think most importantly, they start realizing that anything is possible if they work hard enough for it, no? And, and we have students that have gone from working at a corner shop in a slum to working at the IDB in Washington as developers a few blocks from the White House. So, so really, they are an example that anything is possible, no? And they're, they're changing not only their lives, but they're changing their communities, their cities, and I think they are transforming the tech sector in Latin America. They are bringing the diversity and the talent that the sector needs to really become a leading force in our economies. And I'm pretty sure that as we continue to grow and reach thousands of women in the region, they are going to change our countries for the better and making sure that we can actually base our growth on the most important thing that we have, that's our, our young talent. That's great. Now, the, uh, should, uh, <laughs> when we were talking backstage, I had been reading about this, and I said 60% of uh, uh, the women who had gone through this program uh, now were employed, and I was corrected, it's now 70%. I had old data, <laughs> but, uh, but I think it's... it's uh, it's important to, to point out uh, that your success rate has been quite extraordinary already. So Thank you. it's wonderful. 